Minister, uh, yesterday in this chamber we had two gross acts of hypocrisy. First of all, uh, during the day uh, we quite rightly had a session of expressions of sympathy uh, for the late uh, Detective Garda Adrian Donoghue. And during that, I thought it was despicable that Deputy Jerry Adams came in here and engaged in a brazen act of hypocrisy of trying to cleanse his political history and pedigree by attempting to apologize for the killing of Jerry McCabe 17 years ago. The killing of Jerry McCabe was a murder. Nothing more, nothing less. It was a murder back then, and it's still a murder today. And why now, 17 years on, we have to ask the question, does Jerry Adams come in uh, and try and engage in that? Uh, there were so many other opportunities in the intervening 17 years. You know, and you have to ask yourself, why didn't he condemn the killers of Detective Garda, Jerry McCabe, rather than arranging uh, cheerleading parties to greet them coming out of prison or, or having a special uh, status for them at their political party meetings or their Sinn Féin or Deshida. It makes me sick, I can tell you that, and I think it makes a lot of people in this country sick. But Minister, you formed an alliance in here yesterday with the Sinn Féin party in trying to, in trying to upend a democratic motion here which affects every single community in urban Ireland and right across rural Ireland. You engaged in a cynical political exercise by trying to politicise the events uh, around a Garda funeral this week and try to link it to our motion. And shame on you, Minister. Shame on you. You should have been bigger and you should have been a man about it and you should have risen above it. Our motion, our motion was tabled on Friday morning to do with closure of Garda stations and Garda resources. Minister and you engaged in a spinning exercise and you tangled yourself up in your own spin. And there's been many other commentators today who have addressed all the issues that we have addressed here tonight and that I have addressed for the last number of months and the last number of weeks. And you know, I don't have to say it because there's plenty others saying it. You're going in the wrong direction. You, are, you had very little support from your own speakers. They came in here and offered you very benign support. And you waffled away about a national development plan. When it didn't suit you, you voted against the National Development Plan. No national you voted against it. No so don't national now national try and rely on it for cover. <laughs> don't try and rely on it for political cover. Deputy, you, you talk Deputy about engaging in political, politicising a debate. Okay. It was a genuine debate. It was a genuine debate addressing genuine concerns of people and their fears. And you don't recognise it. So be a man about it. And if you want to have a motion withdrawn, you should have been a man about it and contacted me directly. Deputy you couldn't even do that. Collins, to conclude. So at the end of the day, Minister, you have responsibility. You have responsibility I for a guard of Shia You're taking him in the wrong direction. Minister. And the silence from all your own benches. And you're going to look on the television or listen to the radios to all your own party members right around the country. What are they saying to you? Reverse the decision. Thank you, Minister.